Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today we're in the Cataclysm beta, because I found out that we can actually make uh, level 85s now in the beta. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to just showcase my, uh, the, uh, like, my macros that I'm gonna use in Cataclysm which I used back in the day also, and I really enjoy them because it makes me so... I have a single target macro, a, a retarget macro, and a opener macro. And I'm gonna explain that there's uh, some things that you're gonna have to keep in mind of. But the reason why I love to play with macros is because I can just relax and do something else like well i have to focus of course but i can focus like on the mechanics on the fight like what like how is it going for the group and everything like do, yeah instead of like okay what's my rotation okay now it's uh, crusade strike and uh, oh no crap it wasn't that one uh and it's like you want to like this is my way to be like as optimized as possible so yeah Let's just go over the macros. The uh, the spec is not optimized. Uh, it, it is not. Uh, in this spec, I don't play with the Grand Crusader, and the reason is because with the with the um, is obviously better. Like this is not the optimal way to play a paladin. It is not. Uh, if you do the rotation correctly, if you playing with the Grand Crusader, it's obviously gonna be better but with this way it's just gonna be pretty much all pretty much like playing in Kata in Lich King so that's what I like but this is pretty much like the build that I did back in the day so I didn't actually have Grand Crusader through the whole Cataclysm because yeah I didn't really need it so yeah this is the build and uh, Let's go over the macros. We are gonna start with a single target macro. So it's a sequence macro. So uh, the cast sequence reset equals five. That means like after five seconds that you haven't casted anything, it's gonna reset. You could actually change this to three. I think that we're gonna do because the Hammer of uh, Righteous and Crusader Strike share cooldowns and it's only three seconds. So. I think that you could do that, but I usually have it on five because it doesn't really matter. But with this macro, it's gonna cast first Crusade Strike, then Judgment, then Crusade Strike, and Avenger Shields, uh, Avengers Shield, Crusade Strike, Hammer of Righteous, Crusade Strike, Judgment, Crusade Strike, Holy Wrath, Crusade Strike, Shield of Righteous. So basically, the, all the Crusade Strikes are the combo builders because in Cataclysm we're gonna have holy powers. So, uh, how many is that? We got one, two, three, and then we're gonna use Shield of Righteous because that's a uh, Holy Breath Spender. And then we go again, one, two, three. So basically it's gonna uh, just rotate it. And I'm gonna show you. So let's say this is a boss and we're going. And I'm pressing only one now. And you can see in the corner, I'm pressing only the one, which is over there, the first one. And I'm using only one button. So, and with that, I can just like, uh, look around and like okay what's going on you could be like okay maybe this one is over here taking some aggro or something I can kite them over here bring them with me or something and it's super simple like the rotation just keeps going which is very nice and uh, what to keep in mind of of though is that consecration is not part of the it's not part of any of the macros because it's such a long cooldown in in cataclysm it's 30 seconds compared to eight i think it was eight but yeah so and crusader strike a eh, consecration can actually crit now 
Pretty sure it can. Maybe it can't. Well, it doesn't really matter. And then we have the... And Holy Shield is also 30 seconds. So it's actually also not a part of it. So uh, Holy Shield is more of a cooldown now rather than like just a ability that you used because in Lich King you used it and you got like these charges and whenever the charges are gone, they're gone. So it was just part of the rotation, but now it's more of a cooldown on 30 seconds. And uh, the amount your shield block blocks uh, yeah, increases the amount blocked by 20% for 10 seconds. So, yeah. And then we have the AOE one, which is a little bit more uh, weird. Uh, it's going to look like it's going to be like six seconds that it can't do anything because it breaks a little bit. And um, because we have the combo spenders, we don't really like have anything else to spam there pretty much like you could put out the uh, consecrate if it's on cool off cooldown and stuff like that but the main point with this playstyle is that it's gonna be a little bit like lazy but still more awareness in a sense so let me explain with a we one and um, there's a reason why I have the like a uh, hammer of righteous right next to it and that's because we're gonna be able to whenever we have that downtime of like six seconds i'm gonna have something to use like an ability but yeah basically you just run up to it make sure you have the seal the, your seal on and then you just go also again i wait i have to show the macro i forgot <laughs> There we go. So this is the same thing. Sequence macro, reset five seconds. Hammer of Righteous, Hold of Wrath, Hammer of Righteous, Avenger Shield, Hammer of Righteous, Judgment, and then Inquisition. Because in we are gonna get Inquisition in in uh, Cataclysm. Which is like consumes all holy power to increase your holy damage by 30%. Last four seconds per charge of holy power consume and we want to consume three all the time which is gonna make it a 12 second uptime and yeah uh, basically uh, i'm gonna show you so hammer of wrath well that's the wrong one but as you can see uh let's see when we get hit that point i think it's pretty much now yeah, as you can see, now we have a six second one. I'm just gonna have that one so I have something to spam. So whenever I had that one, I did use a the my number three. I'm gonna hit it again. Here, for example, I could use something else like a Holy Shield or something like that. And the Hammer of Righteous whenever you have the six seconds cooldown. Like, just to have something to spam. And yeah, and we we have another uh, pretty neat thing with the, the Divine Plea. Because Divine Plea is a little bit different now. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna go, I think it's over here, right? Yeah, Divine Plea. Uh, it's a two minute cooldown. So this is going to be a part of an opener. You gain 18% of your total mana over nine seconds. But the amount healed uh, by your healing spells is reduced by 50%. But listen to this. Grants a charge of holy power. So whenever you're using this, we're going to get full... Con uh, hold the power. We're going to get three of them. So with this one, as you can see, cast sequence, reset five, divine plea, which makes it so that we have three instantly. Then we're going to use avenging wrath, which is the wings. 
Then we're going to use Inquisition. And if you want to, I've added Consecrate over here. Just because Consecrate is very big. And you can do this like on... Uh, you could modify this so like you have an opener for AOE and you have an opener for single target because you can just change the inquisition for shield of righteous uh, because if you have that you're gonna make more single target damage on the boss which is nice and yeah uh, so let me show that one in action and we're pressing the opener which is Divine Plea, Inquisition, Wings, Consecrate, and then you just pick whichever one that you're gonna use. For, for example, now I have the single target macro again. And yeah, it, it's just super simple way to play. And uh, Glyphs is like not mandatory or anything. I really like the Glyph of Wrath because uh, we're gonna have Elementals and Dragonkins in a lot of the Cataclysm dungeons. Like in Stoneard, um, we have Elementals. And I think in, yeah, I'm pretty sure in Green Batool, we're gonna have Dragonkin. So that's uh, like keep in mind to like Hall of Wrath gonna be is also actually a bit different now in Cataclysm compared to Lich King because it deals damage no matter what it is. But now it stuns demons, Dragonkin, Elementals, and Undead. So it's very nice to have. But yeah, that's just the way that I'm going to play my Paladin. Um, yeah. Consider... Consider... Sub, uh, can it, can't even talk right now. Consider subscribing and liking this video if it helps you. And... Type in the comment below if there's like some changes that you could do for the AOE target macro. And just tell me in chat and I could try that out and see if it works better. And click this video over here and I'll see you over there. Bork bork.